Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another Worker Wednesday as we continue our adventures with Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This will be another solid episode, I think, where we make some good progress once more as these new songs play. I feel like... No, no, we've heard the song before. It feels like a different tempo. Sorry, got distracted there. Um, yeah, this should be a pretty solid episode, I think. We have a lot of... Uh, work to get done and a couple of suggestions to try and implement as well from the comments and we'll see how far along we can get might spend most of this session actually playing uh at double speed just to make sure some of this construction and all gets completed over here uh obviously we've got the uh, well rostinsky's up and running but we've got this bridge that needs completing over here and we've also got a rather large set of housing units that need to be completed as well uh, hopefully that won't take too long but yeah double speed uh, we'll at least see if all this stuff will work as intended. Again, just as a reminder, the plan and the hope was to get uh, all these new houses done over here, a bus stop over here, and then get people taking the bus from these houses over to this train station uh, to then get ferried up to over here, and then eventually up to over here. So we are relying quite heavily on, uh, on that working smoothly, and hopefully it does. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll be in a fair bit of trouble. The closest gas station... This bus stop is down over here, which isn't all that bad, uh, but I am starting to wonder if I should get another gas station somewhere up over here. Uh, many of you were actually pointing out that before I uh, go ahead and make our next expansion, which will be all the way down over here, uh, if I recall correctly, it should be, yeah, hereabouts. This is the mountain range. So our, our next city, because again, this is, we're a Soviet republic, we're not just a Soviet city, this is a whole nation, basically. Uh, so our next city, uh, many of you agree that it should be this sort of oil and steel uh, capital of our republic, I suppose. We, I think, have access to, yeah, there's easy access to an export route as well with the uh, Molna. Um, it's a small, well, is it a medium or a, yeah, it's a medium custom house, so it doesn't have that many routes to it. But that does mean that when we build up over here uh, for relatively low cost, we'll be able to hook up to exports down to Molna or uh, up to uh, Baraharad over here, depending on what is more viable. Probably Molna because it's got a train uh, connection. Uh, so yeah, that'll be an option. And we'll obviously want to get the uh, rail network connected as well. We want to connect to our old city. So this is definitely something that will happen. Uh, I'm glad to see many of you agree that it's a good idea. Um, and yeah, this should give us... I mean, this will open up a whole new world for us. Apart from the metal and whatnot, uh, oil and, and, and petroleum byproducts and stuff are huge. Uh, so can't wait to get that started. Now, some of you actually suggested terraforming the the river to be thinner. And I honestly, I don't know if that's even a thing. Oh, I guess it might be. I don't... <laughs> sounds hilarious. I don't think I want to do it, if I'm completely honest. Um, it just seems weird. It seems like even though it might be an option, it seems like a strange thing to do. Uh, I don't know if in the 70s, you know, we'd be building, we'd be taking a river that's this wide and uh, and building a land bridge to reduce how much of a bridge structure we had to do. I don't think, do we have the technology in the 70s? I don't think so. So uh, I'm, I'm going to build a very expensive bridge to cross this river. Uh, I mean, I might try to like loop it over and cross it here instead, but I don't think we'll have the space for that if I'm completely honest. So yeah, it's going to be an expensive undertaking, but hey, we're making money now. We're in a decent spot. We did end the last session just slightly be uh, above where we started it, like literally by like, I think a hundred or a thousand uh, rubles. Uh, hopefully we're going to make a bigger difference this time around. Again, we had a little bit of blockage going on last session, so I'm going to keep an eye out for that and see exactly what might be causing it. Might actually want to get rid of some of these trees so I can actually see what the hell happens when something breaks down over here. Many of you were also suggesting that the uh, train, the, the slow movement of the train is because of how many trains I have going on in this really narrow track. Uh, and uh, my response to that is sort of yes and no. Um, so to a degree, yes, obviously, when trains have to stop for other trains, they slow down, of course. Uh, but at times, it's because of the spacing between my, uh, my semaphores. A train will get to a point and it'll be waiting because the next train has to go so much farther to get to the next semaphore. So that's the problem there. And what I might actually do to address both concerns is rather than have this junction over here as a T, uh, I might actually want to split off over here. Hmm. I don't know if it's the best idea, but I might want to split off over here a third track and then hook it up to this. Rather than have uh, a another set of trains going this entire length just to shoot off to this side, I could just separate them onto a third track. 
so that they won't interrupt flow up and down this path. You know what I mean? So that's something I'll consider as well, but that's something I'll consider after the rest of this track has been completed. So we have time yet. Uh, what else have we got going on? Not much else. Let's go ahead and hit double speed and just make sure everything is running smoothly. I, I definitely need to keep an eye on my trains and stuff, especially when playing at double speed. They, they tend to fall apart more often. Um, and I wonder if there's actually like a, a, a timing thing, because a lot of the times uh, physics and animations are tied to like the, the speed of a tick as opposed to anything else. Uh, so I wonder if, you know, there's something is, is, is messing up there. Because I've noticed, I think, with relative consistency, the uh, issues with trains and stuff happen more often when I'm at double speed rather than when I'm at single speed. But it might just be because we're going through more cycles at a time at double speed, obviously. Right, we're also cu currently building all of these uh, conveyor belt systems and whatnot. Uh, this is actually working out pretty well for us. I'm surprised at how easy it was to get this going, so very happy to see that. I'm actually, yeah, uh, again, I'm, I'm gonna wait until we, I'm gonna wait to build the aggregate storage. Uh, sure, we're wasting a little bit of money perhaps over here with this offshoot, rather than just going directly to that, but I'm saving time. Uh, I, I just kind of want to see if we're able to keep up with supply and demand uh, with what we've got going on right now. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I need these two, basically. That's that's the big uh, that's the big question mark, I suppose. Now, many of you were suggesting as well that I should start getting rid of all these mud roads. Um, some of these mud roads are fine as they are. The mud road accessing the rail construction office, I think, is fine. Uh, sure, it slows things down a little bit over here, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, I've got a couple of mud roads that are just temporary for the purposes of construction. Uh, so it's not like... And, and maybe for the purposes of, uh, you know, like, firefighters and whatnot. Uh, these, aren't, these aren't main roads. I don't expect um, buses and stuff to be taking these roads, so I don't mind keeping these mud roads. And as far as my construction sites go, the only reason I build mud roads over here is so that um, our construction buildings, or sorry, our construction vehicles and, and mechanisms and workers uh, will have access uh, without this road needing to be completed. That way we're actually working on two things, or in this case, three things at the same time. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, the thinking over there. And hopefully this will this will get done soon enough. Looks like we're bringing supplies. Everything's everything's moving along here, so that's good. Uh, and what's the deal over here? Yep, trains are still moving smoothly. We've got you working at capacity. I'm very curious as to why our coal is no longer a problem. I must be missing something. Like we are still producing bricks, right? So th that's still consuming coal, supposedly, right? Um, we've got a ton of coal saved up over here. I guess it was because, right, we're not making cement. And this is a, this is a different big problem that I need to try and solve. And that's because we have, all, so, the, the issue is that a lot of workers are coming over here. And a lot of buses are coming over here and taking workers to different, like, multiple different places. Uh, this is kind of why I want to get more people coming here faster, because if we have more people here, the buses only have so much capacity, right? So if we have more people at the bus stop at any given time, uh, more people will be left behind after all the buses have done their rounds, and uh, and that way there will be those people going to more places, you know what I mean? I think I need to explain that again. <laughs> Sorry. So, the issue right now is that, let's say 50 people come to the bus stop and one bus picks up all 50 people and leaves. The next bus that comes here might see an empty platform, stay for a second, and then leave. Whereas, if over here I had 100 people, the first bus would come, pick up 50 people, and leave, and the second bus would come, pick up the other 50 people, and then leave. And now you've gone from supplying people to one spot to supplying people to two spots. So I, that's why I'm trying to focus on the quantity of people that come here rather than just building a separate bus platform or something. Obviously, that is an option. Uh, I could get another bus stop built here somewhere, I suppose, and, and get people to go there as well for different destinations. And that might be the smarter call. And I might take a look at implementing something like that. Like, we, we could get a bus stop up over here. Again, it's gotten a little dark. There's this... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go over those details in a bit. I mean, I can take a look at some of those options just to see... Um, what might be the best way to make this smooth because it's things like well now we've got people here <laughs> just as i was going to point it out my, my point being it's things like uh it, it's those inconsistencies that will cost us as things get bigger and bigger those kinds of problems 
uh, amplify with time and scale. Alright, this is looking good though on the topic of time and scale. Looks like we're, we're getting some work done over there. How about this road? Get some gravel, and how about you? Obviously we can't reach you. I'd like that to get done ASAP. I really want to see how the bus stop works. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is up with power? A lot of flashing lights over here. I didn't know what that was about. I also need to get... Many of you are very much right about this. I, I really need to get this stuff done. We have the roads being built, so that's great. Um, some work is being done here. Some progress is being made. But we do need to finish this hospital as well as the kindergarten over here. Because otherwise, a lot of the new people who are joining us will not be able to actually go to work and many people will be falling sick and there's gonna be a lot of trouble people without jobs hmm is it because of the lack of a kindergarten might be yeah see the lack of a kindergarten is is proving quite expensive we should be able to reach that kindergarten from this block and I'm hoping that these guys are able to get to this kindergarten. Though I wonder if it's too full. No, it's not. We have room still. Okay. Um, now with the sun back up. What we could do over here, as I was mentioning earlier, is I could take a look at building a bus stop like over here. The problem is it's so densely packed. It's so densely packed. I don't think I'd actually be able to yeah, build it without demolishing everything over here and investing a lot of money there. Uh, this is also something I've been mulling over for a little bit. Replacing this with a much cleaner uh, bus stop kind of a setup. Again, the existence of this infrastructure is going to stop me. I could pay for some of it. Right, I could, I'd have to pay for this piece, this piece, and this piece. That would get a bus stop over here. We'd demolish this one. I don't know. I feel like it would run a lot slower. I fear it would run a lot slower. Trying to figure out if there is some other spot where we can put a bus stop. I also find it funny that we've got this connection over here. Are people actually using that? They aren't. They're just going to the steel mill and the bus platform. So I could remove this connection. What does that do for us? It cleans this space up a little bit. What else does it do for us? I mean, I guess I could get another bus stop over here. Let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that a little bit. Just a little bit of cleanup over here. It was a nice looking path, but it was completely unnecessary. If I were to build a bus stop over here, I'd be able to fit it. Yes, no, maybe so. Mm, I'd have to clean up some of the footpaths. No, I wouldn't be able to fit it. This is this is something that frustrates me a bit, is uh, the, the footprint of a building is so much bigger than the actual building itself. I, I guess it makes sense, because you know construction always takes more space than the end product anyway. So I guess that makes sense, but I don't know. Not uh, not the biggest fan of uh, of that sometimes. All right, but, but we're fine. As we saw, it looks like it's not a consistent problem. People are coming here every so often. I do think it's something. It's a numbers problem. Once we have more people coming through, uh, we'll be fine. So let's speed it up again. Well, let's quickly take a peek at our numbers. Okay. Well, we're. I'm guessing the steel train has arrived here. Yep. Like, when the numbers are going up, you can assume it's a steel train. Another cool thing that the uh, devs are looking to implement, and I don't I don't think they've done it yet, at least I haven't noticed it, uh, is, um, is fluctuating markets. So, for example, if I, the way I understand it's going to work is, if you keep supplying a surplus of steel to the market, like we've been doing for the last little while, then the price of steel might go down, because, you know, supply and demand. If there's too much supply, demand drops, and so prices drop to try and get people to buy. Um, which, I, I can't wait to see how and if that gets implemented. Um, rather, if, when, and how that gets implemented, because that would definitely put a wrench in things like, I just need to rely on steel. Uh, it means you'd have to diversify, you'd have to be building uh, or, or producing a bunch of products, a variety of products to get... Um, to keep your profits, to keep your profit margins high, basically. So I'm actually uh, excited to see where that goes, if it goes anywhere. Uh, I, I know it was part of the plan since this game's, like, started development, if I recall correctly. So I imagine we'll see it. It's just a matter of when that update releases. Now, the dev has been pretty good about releasing updates relatively frequently, so uh, I'm not concerned about, um, about anything like that, uh, you know, falling by the wayside. It's just a matter of time. You know what I think might have happened with the uh, 
cement plant. I think what happened was we had that blockage from last session and that slowed everything down and that's why it, it slowed down up over here rather than anything bigger or more nefarious. So let's go ahead and double speed and keep making progress here. Another thing actually that I want to check in on that was asked of me was can we not build a tunnel over here? I don't think we can. No, we cannot. We cannot, because the thing about tunnels, if I understand the, the method of tunnel construction in this game properly, uh, oh, no way. Hold on. What happens to that road if I do that? Because it doesn't look like, hmm. It looks like it would block that road, right? So then we can get this road connection over here. I could do... This. Big hill. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Because I imagine this bridge construction would block this road. But if it would, then the game wouldn't let me do this. Are you trying to show me what's underground? That doesn't make sense, because we're not underground. And if I go to build track... That's looking overhead to me. Okay. It's just being visually weird, I guess. So, yeah. Um. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, there we go. Oh, don't do this to me, game. Game. There we go. Okay. Whew. That would have been that would have been unfortunate. So the way bridges work is uh I believe you build a straight path with them and if there is something to go through or under, the game takes you under. Uh above train at some point. Let's go ahead and take a look at a mountain range. Got some mountains over here. I believe. Again, that's how I that's how I think it works. Not entirely Sure. Okay, because you gotta do the entrance and the exit. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, this is definitely not enough of a mound. I mean, there's a bit of a mound, but I doubt it's... Yeah. Tunnel above terrain at some point. So we can't do a bridge over here. It unfortunately has to be a train track. Basically, the point was that uh, some of you suggested that who would want to live here where the tracks cross your path every day? And I don't disagree. Um, <laughs> I don't disagree at all. But at the same time, it's kind of like, well, y you know, when you yeah, sometimes you can't afford to find a better place. And sometimes you live where you have to live, and it's unfortunate, but uh, a lot of people live by the tracks. And in fact, I believe that's a turn of phrase as well, or there's a turn of phrase uh, based on that. Um, oh, hey, a new place has been done. Wow, that happened very quickly. Uh, my, my point being, um, yeah, it's unfortunate, and it won't be the cleanest thing to look at, but it is a reality for many people. And it might be a reality for these people. You know, they they live on the wrong side of the tracks, so to speak. Because if you're on this side of the tracks, you get you get to cross the road without having to worry about a train hitting you. Uh, but no, no, no. We 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 have to. Uh, I mean, we'll we'll ask for their forgiveness after we put the track down. But we will eventually get that loop happening, and and they'll have to suffer with the crossing. Now, fortunately, the they'll mostly be able to use the footpath as well. Like these roads aren't even all that necessary, if I'm completely honest. I don't need... They don't need these roads over here. We could actually just completely demolish them, I think, and they'd have just as easy access to, uh, to their amenities and whatnot, I believe. Yeah. They barely, they barely use those roads, only if they want to visit friends across the street. Which, I don't think they have time for, anyway. Spend all their time working. Um, okay. So yeah, that, that's an eventuality. Now, with this done over here... I'm glad you're done, but I would like to get this done as well, please. I'm wondering if I should just pay for this. Won't cost all that much. Yeah, you know what? It's cheap enough. It's cheap enough, and... Look at that, only 48 people. No way. I could have sworn I had more people. There we go, 53. 54. All right, good, good, good. People are moving in. I guess it just takes time. They have to physically move in. Fair enough. Well, let's go ahead and rush this, I think. Um, by rush, I mean pay for it. We've got, we've got the extra money. 
What did we start at? 1.22, I think? I want to try and finish this session above that number. There's the bus stop. The rest can be built manually. We were not in that much of a rush for the rest of the housing, but uh, I did want to get the bus out. So let's go ahead and purchase a new bus. Using rubles, yeah. Uh, also, yes, thank you. Accordion. Accordion buses. I, I was looking for the word last session, and I just couldn't remember, and uh, thanks for dropping it in the comments. Now, do we want 135 people? Well, yes. We want everyone to get picked up from here and dropped off to here uh, consistently and in quantity as well. So let's go ahead and get the IKR to 80. I'm going to get you going from here to here. Begin. And you... All 66 people who live here right now will go here. Cool. I just want to see how that works, if it flows smoothly. Um, and if it does, then we're going to start supplying a lot more people. So again, this time, just to remind those of you that uh, that may have forgotten, we didn't... There's a, there's a little checkbox you can check when you build a residential house. Um, where are we? There we go. Uh, and the checkbox is Get Citizens. So if you check that, you'll actually pay uh, rubles, I believe. Uh, yeah, you'll pay rubles to get foreign citizens to immigrate, basically. Um, it's, a, it's a quick way to get your population boosting a little bit. Uh, but this time, with all these four buildings, we did not do that. And the reason we didn't do that is because we have a lot of people... Uh, that might actually be homeless? I don't know. Because all of these houses, all of our residential units are topped up. These guys are basically all maxed out. And a lot of the time, we have um, adults living at home. Like 21 year, twenty-one and plus living with their parents. Uh, which, I mean, is fine in the real world. But in this game, it's a bit of a problem. So you have to kind of spread them out a little bit. Now, these guys, actually, now that I'm inspecting them, are not having the best time, are they? Not able to get meat, not able to get electronics, fair enough. Not able to get food, no pubs or taverns. What is going on? Are you not being dropped off over here where you can get food and clothes and meat? Let's back up over here. I was hoping that getting the passengers over here would mean these guys would be getting their, uh, their goods, but maybe... Maybe I need to build another shopping center somewhere over here. I feel like a shopping center, um, let's see, a shopping center, a hospital, a pub maybe, that would satisfy these guys as well as these guys. Now these guys are able to go up there as well, but if we get some over here, hmm, how would we split the workers? Get some of these workers coming down over here. Now, there was another request that I, I should mix up the housing a little bit, and I think we will. Um, this is very cookie-cutter housing, so to speak, from, like, the Soviet bloc, I suppose, uh, which is why I like the, the look and feel of, like, yep, these repeat houses. Um, actually, zooming down this low reminds me of Call of Duty, like Call of Duty 4. <laughs> uh, there's that one level with the, with the apartment blocks and whatnot. Anyway, sorry. Um, so that's why I kind of went with this kind of re repetitive theme, uh, re repeating blocks and whatnot feels very right so to speak but um but yeah i can i can get some more variety in there in fact when we get our new our next city happening at well just outside of molna over here uh, i think we'll do that i think we'll add a little bit of variety as to the type of housing start with some of the maybe smaller houses um smaller flats i guess and just, just, just to get us a little bit of a start and then eventually get bigger and bigger. Because there are lots of options, but again, these guys, uh, they fit fewer people. So that's the only thing to keep in mind, is you're taking up space and fitting fewer people. Of course, it's cheaper to build, so it's also faster. Um, but, you know, you're balancing, you're balancing, it's, it's a balancing act, obviously. Alright, looks like we're focusing on construction over here next, good stuff. Feeling good about that. Trains are moving smoothly, it seems. There are people over here. I just wish... One thing, a constant complaint I have, I suppose, is I wish that um, people had jobs. Rather than people went to a destination to get picked up or dropped off, I wish people had jobs. Because that's that would have solved quite a few problems for us. Now, what's going on over here? This construction is making its way across soon. You guys... No construction office has been assigned? Why not? 
is being worked on. This is not being worked on. Okay. Go ahead and assign. Where are we? I don't know, that's the train tracks. You. You. Road connection doesn't exist. Okay, we might have to pay for that one, I suppose. I think that was the one that I couldn't get a road connection to at all, no matter how hard I tried. We can try a little bit harder. Mud roads are free after all. Yeah, no, this is like a dead end kind of a, a, a situation. I could try, let's see. Let's see. Try flattening it a little bit? Nah, I don't I don't think it'll work. Fine, we can pay for one of these conveyor uh, like belt systems. Not the end of the world. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, wait for it. Got too excited there for no good reason. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll pay for one, but we'll only pay for it after the rest of the stuff is done. Which is soon, actually. This is... Oh, wow. Speak of the devil, just got finished. So this needs to get done. It's been assigned, and this needs to get done, and it's been assigned as well. We're saving how much? We're saving a lot of money. We're saving a ton of money. We're almost going to hit 1.3, actually. That's exciting. It's going down now, but uh, I believe... Where's our steel train? Ah, it's on its way back, so it just made a delivery. We might hit 1.3, and that'll be the highest we've been ever since we dropped, you know, as low as we did. Oh, man. I want to also get, let's see, how's the progress over here going? Fairly slowly. No selected source of workers. From here... What about one of these bus stops? Get him from there. Because that's the problem over here, I think, is that workers aren't arriving to actually finish the roads and whatnot. Alright, and let's speed it up, I think. We want to make some progress, obviously. Yeah, this mud road is still very much helping in delivering goods up over here, I think. Or, ooh, wait, hold on, where are you? Oh, oh, it's for this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this mud road, and I'm going to keep it as a mud road. I don't think it needs to be invested into a proper, uh, proper road, in my opinion. Things can go a little slowly there. It's just an access road, basically. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but you, you know what I mean. Okay, you're going to the Rostinsky bus stop with quite a few people. We are producing goods relatively quickly. Um, last month, we imported how much iron? 99k. But what if we go back to April? 1st of April, the end of April. 82k. Okay. 1st of March to the end of March. 113k. Okay, so it, it fluctuates a little bit. I want to try and get this to drop as much as possible. Because we are, I mean, again, we're supplying our own iron now. So it's moving slowly is the thing. Moving very slowly, as you can see. Okay, you're making your way over. Yeah, they take time to load up and stuff. Once we get the conveyor system going, at least it'll be a bit faster then. Um, this, of course, doesn't have a conveyor system. So what I'll do is I'll take the two trucks from that go over here and tell them to go over here instead, so it'll be a bit faster over there. Uh, yeah. Now this mud path I might want to change. The only reason I'm not changing it, mud road I suppose I should say, the only reason I'm not changing it yet is in case I want to adjust something up over here. I don't think I will, but, but, but just in case I suppose. Playing it safe, maybe too safe. By the way, let's see what's going on. Down over here, trains are still flowing smoothly. Yep, people are waiting over here. Buses are coming through. That's good. That feels that feels right. That feels like there's progress being made there. What's the deal here? Oh right, you don't have a bus, do you? Let's go ahead and get rid of what you. Yep, now let's get you a bus. I think a small, cheap one should do the trick. Yeah. Man, that's a pretty color. I wish all my buses were that color, but they're not the right size. They don't take the right number of people. A little bit more research available here as well. We can get semiconductors going. Might as well, I say. Get all the research completed. And I should also take a look at... There, there's a whole aspect of this game that I have not been exploring. Oh, hey, we hit 1.3. Holy crap. That's pretty good. 
I'm feeling pretty proud of that. Now, the aspect of the game we're not looking at at all, which I should look at, maybe we'll do soon, is, uh, ooh, plastics factory. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, where'd we go, where'd we go, where'd we go? Equipment for citizens. We have the uh, radio station, which is massive. There's the television station, which is also massive. City hall and accounting office, which maybe I should get going somewhere. You know, might not be a bad idea getting that implemented somewhere up there. Uh, car dealers, I mean, for that, we'll get cars and stuff first, so car dealer can wait. But the radio station and the television station, if I'm not mistaken, that is what brings propaganda. Uh, that is what brings government loyalty up and maybe also reduces escapes. Escapes have been slowly on the rise. I think that's partially probably because we haven't been uh, building housing. And I hope that will drop now that we've got some housing in finally. Like it looks to be the case. Looks like it was a significant drop in escapes, but I mean, we'll... We'll see, I suppose. Lots of people lacking education as well. Let's see, you surely got access to... Ooh. Kidding me. Oh, okay, it's because this hasn't been built yet. Right, you know what, I think I'm just going to pay for this. There we go. You got me a little worried there. I was like, it, it shouldn't be that difficult to get to these spots. Yeah, you can get to the theater as well. Good, good, good. So these guys should be relatively happy. Lots of people without jobs, but people are moving in. Yeah, okay, they're getting jobs. They're getting jobs. Cool. Very cool, very cool, very cool. This is working out. How about you? You haven't been assigned yet. I have to just pay for them. Because we've got both of these done. Let's slow it down a bit. Uh, can't connect to you. Well, we can get rid of these. These eyesores can be removed. So, this needs to be paid for then. E hmm. Tempted to do it. Y'all yeah, do it. Get it done. Where can we send you? Let's go ahead and get you. Where are we? There we are. Sorry, I meant that. Working on this. It's kind of like really. Doesn't. There we go. Auto assign. Yeah, we were just outside of reach. There we go. That should do the trick. It's a little problematic. Because I'd like to... This... this I would like this to flow a lot more smoothly. We finally got some work done up over here at least. Lots of workers over here where our trains packed up. Look, wait a second. This isn't adding up. Turn you around. That's going to cost us a fair bit. I had to get rid of some of these trees. They are definitely blocking my view. Come on, go through, go through. There we go. And once you get through, that'll free you up, hopefully. There we go. That'll free you up, and that'll free you up. See, it's weird. This train should not have been stuck here. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, there's a weird relationship across the tracks that's stopping trains where they shouldn't stop, perhaps. Uh, we're going to suffer some losses because of those delays, which is unfortunate because these trains are empty. But it's okay. Lots of people waiting. They'll get topped up in no time. In no time. And up over here. We haven't had a blockage up over here in a very long time, so that's good at least. At least we've made some progress there. Oh, is this steel train seriously empty? Wow, that is a whole steel shipment that we've missed out on. We could have been at 1.4. We could have been at 1.4. Okay, you guys have been emptied out. This is almost done. I'm okay, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. What's the deal over here? Vehicles are coming through? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're loading up. Pretty quickly as well. Good stuff. I'm always so torn between paying for it and not paying for it. I, I should stop 
just impulse buying buildings and roads and whatnot. Because the more I keep doing that, the 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 slower our expansion is going to be. You know what I mean? Like if I keep spending a thousand here, two thousand there, five hundred here, six hundred there, then uh, that's money that we're eating into that could be used to build our second city. Uh, because I I think some of it at least has to be built through our accumulated wealth, and the rest of it can be built through just the perseverance and hard work and labor of our uh, of our workers and resources. I suppose. I mean, we'd be able to. I mean, oh man, are we gonna take people over there by bus? We don't have a construction office down there. We don't have any housing down there. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a bit of an undertaking. I have to really sort out the order of operations here, because if we're gonna take people over by bus, we have to build a road and a bridge all the way across, which will be very expensive. Uh, and then we'd have to build a train as well, which will be very expensive. Bridges are super pricey, so that's not really like ideal, so to speak. Um, yeah, geez. So then do we start by purchasing, like building some houses uh, using initial investments? That might be a good call. Let's take a look at the cost of some of these things. If we were to auto build, 11k, 30k. Uh, these don't fit that many people. Hmm. All right, this is this is going to be interesting. Let's say it's let's go with 10k per housing unit, right? It would be like 100k. Well, no, we don't need that many workers. Uh, we could probably build like three sets of flats with a construction office. Wow, we're gonna need a road either way because that construction office needs to get raw materials somehow. And oh man, this is gonna be tough. Like I could get a train to get from here. It would pick up coal and uh, we're bringing gravel here as well. Sorry. Mm. We're bringing two things over here, and I forget exactly what they are. Yeah, coal and gravel. Can be picked up over here. Um, bricks, boards, prefab panels, mechanical components, all that kind of stuff can be picked up over here. And then shipped all the way down. A different train could take steel from down here down to there. Into like a storage area, into a warehouse or something, like an aggregator or a warehouse or something. Um... Or even into a steel mill, because we're going to get a steel mill down there eventually. Wow, 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 wow. That's going to be... A hefty undertaking. Even getting asphalt down there, like, we might have to build a road... Uh... Across this way. And I don't even want to begin to imagine how much that'll cost. I just checked auto-build. God damn. I don't think there were any pending road orders or anything. I hope not. I hope not. Anyway, sorry, I wanted to check. I always need to remember to turn auto build off. If I were to build a pre a wooden bridge. Right. Well, hold on. I want to see the cost. No, let's go from here to here. Oh, okay, that's not all that bad. 39k. 140 if it's brick. You know what? That's that's not atrocious. I was expecting it to be much worse. Hundred and forty four. Okay, alright. So that is an option. The the travel time is going to be ludicrous though. You gotta drive from all the way up there at party power, across the bridge, down this way, you know, around this mountain. That's like a few days journey. Which is cool, because we are, again, we're building a nation. Right? It's not just a city, so it makes sense for it to be a few days' journey. But, uh... It's, I always stop over here, because I see this little lump. It's not over here, it's over here. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out, folks. I'm gonna have to spend some time with, like, a pen and paper or something, or, like, a screenshot to plan exactly how we want to do this expansion. Because we that's gonna be our next big undertaking. And I'm really excited to get that going, because it's going to be complicated, there's going to be headaches and heartaches involved, uh, but it should be really cool once it's done to be able to, uh, build a second city out of this city and hopefully that second city will also be able to you know produce its well it'll definitely produce its own steel uh in terms of i mean we could probably get our own asphalt plant there importing bitumen and uh, gravel as well just to build it locally i mean that's an option as well like temporary solutions so i do have to really think it over i'm curious to think or i'm curious to hear sorry what you guys think uh, how you guys think we should go about it should i should i bring resources from all the way up there over to there or should i import the raw materials to produce the resources there uh, after having built some housing like invested in some housing i suppose is the way to phrase it that might be the smarter way to go either way let's speed it up a little bit uh i'd like this to get finished soon road progress is not being made anymore it looks like come on guys what are you doing what are you doing? Working on this conveyor belt. Or this con- yeah, this conveyor belt, it seems. Fair enough, I mean, we need these as well. Really funny how- how long it takes. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Yeah, we're producing iron at a decent rate. Once the- the bridge connection is done, workers will be arriving at such a faster pace. Now, this looks like it's stagnated for a while. Why is that? Why is that? Where is our little... There it is. Okay. Just looking for you, buddy. Oh, come on. This keeps happening. At least this time we caught it right away. Might be because we need another set of signals up there. It only it only happens, you see how often it happens when we stick to double speed? And maybe it's just because we get to that cycle faster. That would be a logical explanation. Yeah, you're still making your progress. Are you though? No, you're not, because there are no workers here right now. Yeah, fair enough. Hopefully that bus will drop some off soon. At least we're topped up on resources. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that, 130 people there, 260 over here. Feeling fairly comfortable about how this system is working. Oh crap, you know what? I just realized. This bus could only be picking up workers. There we go. So yeah, this is topping up. We've got... Wow, nobody lives here? Are you serious? This is full. No one lives here. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's because of the road. Well, that'll make a difference. There's that bus. It's almost full, actually. Well, that's good. There we go. People are arriving. Almost like you need roads to get to places. So you're going to come over here. You're going to drop a bunch of people off. Right? Uh... Excuse me. <laughs> I need to drop people off over here. You get over here. You drop people off. Not everybody, though. Ooh. That's a weird one. Okay. Need to keep an eye on that. It needs to work smoothly, because otherwise that's a huge investment that's been wasted. Alright, three people living here, two of them without any jobs. Amazing. What's the deal up here? We're still moving? Yeah, we're still moving. Tracks being built? Nah, this is taking forever. Need more bricks as well. Almost tempting to import bricks. Now I want to see the bus move again. You, okay, you're carrying 72 people. I want you to load up over here. Okay, you're carrying 106 people. 
you head towards this train platform, you need to unload everybody at that platform, right? That's what I need you to do. Checking on the train as well. Or you get over here. Wait. Oh, are you gonna refuel? God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be frustrating. Imagine being that uh, being a bus rider on that. Maybe I do need a gas station up there. Or somewhere down over here. Okay, you've topped up. Now let's go. Some of these people might actually start disappearing. Yeah, see? What happens is when they've been on transit for too long, they just get teleported back home. Um, it's, a, it's an elegant enough way to do it. Unnoticeable unless you're paying attention like this. Look what, five people got off? How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? Um, okay, I'm gonna... Try and just unload everybody and, and reset the cycle, so to speak, if this doesn't work. Okay, just unload everybody, let's go. Empty you out, we'll... we'll Reset the cycle again, so to speak. Well, wow, cleared out all these trees. Probably plant some new trees. Got to reforest to deforest. What? Why is nobody getting out? Get everybody out. Kick him out. Kick him out. <laughs> Come on, leave. No one's leaving. All right, you know what? Back to the depot. I have no idea why, uh, why no one would be getting off the bus. That doesn't make any sense. So we'll, we'll try and give that a hard reset, so to speak. How's this looking? Okay, we got a construction office working on it. We got the steel that's over here. Good stuff. Just need some workers. Over here, we're mostly done. Can you not be reached? You should be reachable. Working on too much all at once, I think. And as a result of that, working on nothing all at once. But come on. Got a bunch of people over here. On the bright side, at least we've come to learn that uh, these two houses are not urgently required. I can pace myself there. Alright, we got a lot of people at this bus stop. Okay. Go ahead and get you starting. Just want to see what, what they do. Worst case scenario, all the amenities and stuff that we'll be building here, these guys will be able to, you know, work for. Uh, or I can get the bus picking people up from over here and driving them all the way up to wherever. Oh my god. Terrible. Where's my bus? That's just dropping off workers. There you are. Come on. Do your job. Do your job and get these people to their job. Yeah, okay, you're gonna move. We go, up we go. And to the bus stop. And... What? Why? They're not unemployed. They're not just passengers. Or are they? Let's see. Uh, you've got a university education. You're trying to get to the there. You have a working shift. I don't know if it separately lists job. Let's check on someone who does have a job. You. Well, it does say working in, but if you're just crossing, does it say where you're working? I can't actually pick you if you're just crossing. No. Oh man, that's very uh, unfortunate and rather quite the bummer, if I'm completely honest. Like, this thing is full and it can't drop anybody off there. That's my fastest 
transit mechanism. I mean, I guess I could get this to drop people off at this bus stop or something, but... There we go. Weird, what's the logic there? Are these guys just unemployed? Here it says four workers without a job. Five now. Seven. One, two, three. Yeah, see, people without jobs look like this. I don't know. That time it dropped like nine people off or something. If I add, after the train platform, if I add... You go up here, you drop these guys off, you loop around, you come up, you go around, oh boy. Oh boy. Bust people up to there. What a mess. What a mess. But hey, if it needs to be done, it needs to be done, I guess. That's the wrong bus. Jeez. Alright, fair enough. Hey, you know, if people want to travel that far for work, I guess they want to travel that far for work. Uh, eventually, once the trains are done, hopefully... I don't know. Now, now I'm starting to worry that people can't get to the train station from farther away. Which is fine. Again, we're planning on doing a little loop over here, right? So these guys should be able to reach... Uh, if the train platform is down over here, people should be able to reach there. Maybe we start working on that expansion. I need to figure out how things line up. Pronto. Because I also got to figure out this bridge situation over here. How much does a train... Close to water level. Oh, don't be like this game. Okay, funny, funny, very funny. Do road bridges just fine? Oh wait, hold on a second. God damn it. That's me being silly. Oh, half a million. Woo! Okay, well. Can we do this? We can, okay. So we know a straight path from there is possible. Is a straight path from here possible? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. So we'd like to get this loop working over here. We're going to finish off the road loop over here. Make this like a grand, you know, downtown central station kind of a thing, I suppose. Let the, let the sun come back up. So maybe we start planning that. Because then at least people will be able to take the train over here. Bypass this station. I'm actually wondering if we get a third track going from behind these houses. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. I would hate to live in these units, though. Got trains to the side of you, trains behind you, trains everywhere. But that might be the ideal solution. I'm a little bummed out about my bus trick not working. These guys are traveling from so far away. Let's say, are you gonna drop people off now? Yeah, it's weird. I don't quite follow. I don't quite follow. And how's this going? Still no progress. Well, we're working on it. I guess the... The legs were being laid out. We don't have bricks here. There go, finally some bricks, but not nearly enough. That's, that's why I'm tempted to buy bricks. Because the trucks that are bringing bricks are bringing them real slow. Bring them real slow. We've got like 80 workers there waiting, doing nothing right now. There we go. Wondering if I just need more trucks bringing more bricks. Like right now, what do we need over here? Oh, just a bit of steel prefab and a touch of bricks. So that means you actually have enough to get it done. So why aren't you getting out there? Come on, man. Work for me here. Work with me here. Over here, we're waiting on some mechanical components. Fair enough. Do 
you know where to get? Missing a truck with covered hull. I imagine that's what we need for... For our uh, mechanical components. So let's go ahead and get rid of... One of the open hull ones, I think. And get you one with a covered hull. Where are we? Covered hull, there we go. One of the bigger ones, please. 6.5 tons sounds like a good idea. 6.5 for 8k. Yeah, that sounds like the right call. For 8.1 or for 8.113? Okay. What's the speed difference here? 92 kilometers per hour versus 62. Alright, well, you're the one. You're the one. There we go. But now we should be able to get mechanical components going. Looks like that's exactly what's happening. Alright, cool. Yeah, so if you're going to rely on auto-assigned uh, construction offices, you best make sure they all have everything they need, because evidently they don't assign based on material requirements. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Still not 100% sure how this is working. But hey, if you drive up to that Rostinsky bus step stop afterwards, I can't really complain. Lots of iron stored up over here. Take some time for us to pick it up, but hey, we're at 1.4. Last month we made almost 100k. This month we're already at 40-ish, approximately. Last month, let's just take a look here. Let's slow it down for a second. Uh, last month, we imported 103k of iron. Wow. This month so far, 54k. Talking numbers, like price, obviously, not quantity in tons. Part of that obviously has to do with the rate at which our trucks are coming and going. Which is to say, not quickly enough. There we go, finally, some progress over here. Alright. Trying to figure out how long until this conveyor belt is done. Missing steel and mechanical components. Well, that's because no one's been assigned to you. Go ahead and assign. That. I mean, this alone has been so much in savings. I'm sure, we're going to spend 6k on this one uh, conveyor, like, unit, tower, whatever you want to call it. Fair enough, but. We've saved so much across the board. So all the resources are here now. Just a matter of getting people. You have a bus, don't you? You do. And you're headed over right now. Excellent. Like clockwork. Like clockwork. I wish there was a button to hide the user interface. Just to get uh, prettier sights, I suppose. This game, I mean, again, it's not, uh, it's no, you know, crazy, like, modern-looking, visual, eye-candy-type game, but, for what it is, uh, the game's pretty when it needs to be. Pretty when it wants to be. Oh, boy. Light has fallen. Okay, these guys are arriving. Like, look at that. You know, it looks... Looks pretty good. That bus was drifting for a second there. What the hell? <sighs> Alright. Are we finally working on this now? Yep. Looks like we are. There we go. Construction is happening. We can speed this up a little bit. I'm sincerely hoping that once this is up to speed, we're going to start saving a ton of money. And I guess the bus is working. I guess it is dropping people off. Missing iron ore. I guess, yeah, having that low quality of source is keeping us pretty slow. Now well, you can't store. It's hard to tell. Because we're loading up right now as well. Fair enough. 
it's hard to tell because it, it just com it comes and goes immediately right it, it's not like we're it's not like we're letting it sit <laughs> thankfully I wouldn't want it to sit I'll speed it up I'm just wondering again that's entirely me thinking about needing two more of these I'd liked to need I would like to need two more the words I was trying to say okay we're done over here we're done over here you we need to pay for this anyway this one though very tempting to pay 10k Oof, what a waste what a waste it would be but it would save us a lot of money right in import costs maybe we do it maybe we do it we have the money to spare you know what let's do it go ahead and fund this 8k oh looks like we've delivered some mechanical components at least any vehicles heading over with steel Soon. Maybe I should allow a shipment of steel in both of these trucks. This train is not in here, so you guys should be loading up. What's wrong with you? This question mark. You have easy access here. You know what? Yeah, see, it's easy to load. Why are you waiting? Alright, I'm just going to pay for it. 10k, well, 8k now, not the end of the world. So, pay for you. Done, and let's pay. Before we pay for you, I want to get these two trucks. Rather than going there, I want you to go here. Cancel that. And then you, rather than go there, I would like you to go here as well. Cancel that. Oh, you're from the construction office. Alright. So, no vehicles are coming here anymore. We're going to rely entirely on these connections. This is almost done. And we can kind of pay for it. I was just talking about this moments ago, about how my impatience here slows might slow us down in the long run, but I'm looking at our numbers and we're looking pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. Pay for that. And you, you're the second most expensive thing to pay for over here. So we ended up paying what, like 20k to, to, to fill the gaps? We'll make that money back in no time. There we go. And it's all gone. Coming in here, we've still got some being used up relatively slowly. Oh, no, okay, Not quickly enough. Use it quickly enough. There's only a handful of workers there right now. Hopefully another bus will arrive sometime soon. Yeah, okay. It's not going smoothly. It's not going smoothly, but... But, at least it's, uh... Well, maybe gonna save us... No money. <laughs> no, I'm being overly critical. We'll make that money back in no time. It's just a matter of getting this uh, train station set up and, and getting the trains coming across and dropping people off. Keeping a constant supply of workers at this mine is going to make a huge difference. And I need to really figure out how to connect uh, this so we're not relying on all these trucks to ship the iron. But even if it's just from the one spot here, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. 12 tons each. Yeah. We can make that work. Either way, I'm glad that we got the uh, conveyor belt set up over here. It's nice to see the uh, the system actually working. There we go. Just gotta get a gotta get a nice shot from up over here. I hate all these little icons. Again, I wish I could hide them. Wish I could hide them. I can't. Well, it's a long way to take this stuff. Long way to take that stuff. But hey, that's that, folks. This is actually where we're gonna call it a session. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been uh, it's been one of some decent progress, I would say. We got up to uh, 1.4 million rubles. We started at 1.2, so I don't feel bad about our progress at all. And I don't feel bad about spending a little bit of money here and there. I feel like we've done quite well for ourselves uh, bouncing back. Are we at 6 million? No. Are we going to get there anytime soon? Absolutely not. But 2 million doesn't feel that far away now. If we have another good session next session, then we'll make some decent progress. And uh, yeah, things will be good. 
things will be good. I want to mention, as always, folks, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Just lets me know that you would like to see more. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, Das Vidanya.